Good evening. I'd like to talk about reading metric vernier caliper with 0.02 mm resolution. This photo shows one of these caliper, and as you can see, this caliper contains two systems. The system below is the metric system, and the system above is the British or inch or standard system. Actually, we are interested in the metric system now. So, as you can see here, we have two scales. The first one is the main scale, and we have another scale, which is the vernier scale. And as you can see here, the value of the least count or the resolution or the precision is already mentioned here. So let's first understand how this value, which is 0 0.02, obtained. As we know, we have a simple formula that we can use in order to determine the value of the least count. And this formula states that the least count is simply the division of the smallest reading on the main scale by the number of division on the vernier scale. So regarding the smallest reading on the main scale, simply this is the smallest or minimum reading on the main scale, and this value is simply 1 mm. So the smallest reading is known. Now we need to determine the number of division on the vernier scale. This is the range of the vernier scale. If you count for the number of divisions on this scale, you will count 50 divisions. So now we can compute for the LC for this caliper. So it's equal to 1 mm divided by 50, which is equal to 0 0.02 mm. So this is the least count of this caliper, which is 0 0.02 mm. In order to read the graduations of the vernier scale, we should take this value of the least count into consideration. Let's understand how to read the vernier scale graduations. This is the zero line on the vernier scale, so it's read zero. The first line, it's read as 0 0.02. The second line is read as 0 0.04. The third line is 0 0.06, 0 0.08. This line is line 0.10 mm. So this is the way. This is 0 0.12, 0 0.14, 0 0.16, 0 0.18. This is line 0.20 mm, 0.22. This line is 0.30, etc. So as you can see here, we read the graduations of the vernier scale by the multiples of the 0 0.02 mm. Now we can make the reading for this caliper. This is the zero line on the vernier scale. The last line on the main scale before this line is line number 13. So the reading of the main scale is 13 mm. And regarding the reading of the vernier scale, we should search for one of these 50 lines. And this line should line up with one line on the main scale. So as you can see here, this line on the vernier scale lines up with one line on the main scale. And this line is read as 0.96 mm. So the reading for this caliper is simply 13 mm, which is the reading of the main scale, plus 0.96, which is the reading of the vernier scale, and the total reading is 13.96 mm. Let's take this example here. This caliper is of the same least count, simply because the number of graduations on the vernier scale is 50. So we consider 
this line to be the reference for reading the main scale. The last line before this reference line is this line in red. So this line is line number 18 mm. So this is the reading of the main scale. It's 18 mm. Now we should read the vernier scale. We should search for one of these 50 lines. And this one line should line up with one line on the main scale. Here we have an enlarging of the location of the aligning. So as you see here, this line is aligning with the above line on the main scale. See that the graduation or the scale below is scale number two, which is the vernier scale. And the scale which is above is the main scale. So we should read this line. Take care that this number here refers to this line. And this line is 0.30. So this line is 0.32. So this is the location of the aligning. So the reading of the vernier scale is 0.32. So the reading for this caliper is simply 18 plus 0.32, which is equal to 18.32 mm. Let's take this example here, the same technique. This is the reference line for reading the main scale. So the last line before the zero line on the vernier scale is this line. And this line on the main scale is read as 1 mm. So the reading of the main scale is 1 mm. Now we should read the vernier scale and search for one of these 50 lines, which lines up with one line on the main scale. So here we have an enlargement of the location of the alignment. So as you can see here, these two lines are aligning with each other. So in order to read this line on the vernier scale, take care again that this number six here refers to this line. So this is 0 0.60, this is 0 0.62, 0 0.64. So this is 0 0.66. So this is the location above for the alignment and the reading of the vernier scale is simply 0 0.66. So the reading for this caliper is 1.66 mm. As you can see here, all the readings we obtain by using this type of vernier caliper contains two decimal places. And regarding the second place, it might be zero or two or four up to eight. Let's take this last example here. We use the same technique. This is the reference line for reading the main scale. So we should read this line on the main scale. And this line is line number 22 mm. So this is reading of the main scale. Now we should read for the vernier scale. Here we have an enlargement. As you can see here, this is the two lines on the vernier scale and the main scale which are aligning. So this line on the vernier scale is read as 0 0.06. So the location of the alignment is this location. So the reading for this caliper is simply 22.06. Take care of how to write 0 0.06, not 0 0.60. So that's all about how to read the vernier caliper with 0.02 mm resolution. Thanks a lot for your watching. Goodbye.